to pilot Dave Allen in Live Copter 3. We know you're losing daylight, Dave, and you're only able to be here for another few minutes. So, uh, you know, is there anything that's really standing out to you other than, you know, some of those obvious points? Well, we're definitely seeing what Dirk was just talking about. And we it, just let's go back over to that parking lot right there, Andrew, and we can just kind of see how that that's come out and it's just kind of flowing out into there and then you can see some white water coming down in there now that looks real small from here but i can tell you when you look at it down there that is really spilling now uh, here let's give you some perspective go ahead and tilt up i just saw something interesting andrew is that picnic tables right there so that's picnic tables right there so this could give you an idea of how large this area is so let's kind of pull out from there and we'll give you that kind of perspective of how much water is going down there and going over this area and then keep on going over to the emergency spillway and you can see how large an area this entire area is that's spilling water over here. Now I'm also looking out the window towards town and I can see that the secondary reservoir down there, it's looking quite full as well. And should this surge down there, that might have a problem with it getting up to its level as well. I'm also seeing lots of emergency vehicles that are going through downtown. There are several helicopters out here from CHP and other agencies. They're all operating below me here, and we're all communicating in a safe manner here. Dave, what does it look like toward the bottom where the water is coming down to the Feather River? Because we were really uh, almost shocked to see some of the viewer video sent in earlier today. They were standing at the bottom of this area, which you probably wouldn't be able to anymore with the evacuations. But you see how that is all just draining and, and, and coming together there. Well, it's draining and it's carrying debris. It's carrying a lot of mud. Let's just keep following the river. Let's just keep following the river towards town. And are you, you seeing can any see homes out there as well? Want. Dave, just kind of right by the water. Any any structures in the way? Well, this is a very deep ravine right here. So we're not really getting into the lowland. Andrew, can, can you go ahead and pan right and just kind of show downtown so we kind of get a, a, the lay of the land here? So we're going to follow the river down into the secondary reservoir down here. We can kind of see... So it, it goes, you can see these, this is a very steep canyon right here. This isn't really going to be the area that's so much of the issue, but as we go to the left in that bend, there's a secondary reservoir. You can see how high the water is up there and how much of a release is happening that. Now, the real area of concern is everywhere below this. So if you will pull out, Andrew, and show the downtown area and how much or how high the river is, in the downtown Oroville area. This is why the evacuations are happening. I can, probably something we can't quite see through the camera, but I am seeing emergency vehicle flashing lights all over town. So I know they're really getting the word out to folks down there that they need to move to higher ground. And we're also getting word too uh, that there is emergency evacuation of the city of Marysville and Yuba County as well. This whole time we've been talking about from Oroville to Gridley, just saying that again, like as Dave mentioned, the low uh, levels around that river are going to see some real rapid ra river rises. Uh, but this is now affecting more than even the area of, of, of Oroville. As you keep following it down, you really can start to see how close there some of these is. homes There's are. An evacuation right there. So these are the folks that are evacuating right now. So quite a bit of traffic that is leaving town. These folks are heading to the north. As you can see, that road is getting quite clogged at this point as everybody is heeding the advice and getting out of town. That's eye-opening to see.